Radio DNS is a global standard for hybrid radio, bridging the gap between traditional broadcast radio and the internet. It lets stations link their broadcast frequencies with additional content and metadata which supported radios will receive over the internet. Radio DNS is already built into millions of devices including vehicles from Audi, BMW, Ford, Toyota and Volkswagen. Setting up Radio DNS through air ensures that radios will always show your station's up-to-date logo, program schedule and other metadata. In this video, I'll show you how to set up Radio DNS for your station through the Air platform. Once you're logged in, click the main menu and select Stations, then choose the station you want to manage. Here you'll see the settings for your station, which are used across Air's products. Anything you set here will be used across your website, mobile apps and much more. Make sure everything's correct, working your way down the tabs on the left. You should have your now playing data, player settings, contact details and the last tab down is Radio DNS. Anything you set in these other tabs will also be shared with Radio DNS once it's set up, but this is where you can set some specific options for supported radios. Publish Metadata lets you choose whether or not to share your station information with Radio DNS. Leave this off until you're happy that everything else has been filled in. Next, you can set your station name and description. There are two length options depending on which device you're using to listen. You can also set any keywords that radios can use to find your station. These could be your name again, genre or location. Next, you'll need to upload five logos which will be used on different devices. These sizes are specified by Radio DNS and will need to be exactly right in order to appear correctly on various radios. Then we'll tell Radio DNS which frequencies your station's info should be applied to. Click Add a place to listen and then choose your broadcast type. Which one you choose will change which information you have to enter further down. For FM and DAB stations, you'll need to enter a global country code. You can find yours by checking our support site. Next, you'll need to enter specific details about your station. You can ask your transmission provider if you're unsure about any of these. Radio DNS also lets you give each way of listening a cost. Think of this as like a weighting which affects which method radios should prioritise if more than one is available. So if you wanted to prioritise DAB or HD radio when that's available, you can set that cost as 1, and that'll take priority over anything set with 2 or 3. Offset lets you instruct radios to delay certain bands by a few milliseconds if there's a delay between two transmitters. You can also add an internal label, which will only show up in air, but it's quite useful if you've got more than one of the same kind of transmitter. Once you've done that, repeat those steps for all the various transmitters your station uses. Next, you'll need to specify a genre and add any links that you might want supported radios to show. Scroll to the bottom and the polygon tool can be used to draw an outline around your transmission area. Any supported radios within it will list your station as being a local service when listeners go to choose. Once you've done that, save your changes and publish the metadata. This will make the file available for Radio DNS to check. If you're setting up Radio DNS for the first time or changing transmission methods, you'll need to email registrations at radiodns.org and advise them that AIR is hosting the data on your behalf. You'll need to include the names of your stations and the authority that issued their broadcast licenses. Once that's done, any future changes you make to your station in AIR will be reflected on supported radios. If you need any help, check out our guides at support.air.com or radiodns.org.